Hi, this is Sandra Peoples, and this presentation is to how to format your ebook for Kindle. This is a really simple way for you to format your book so that you can easily publish it to Kindle or any other device. Now, I have to say this training is specifically for uploading your book to the KDP, which is the Kindle Direct publishing platform now uh, Barnes and Noble has changed the way that they format their books so we're going to uh, do that in a different training but this training is specifically for putting your book on uh, Kindle now excuse my nose it's a little nasal here because I still am a little stuffy so if you're accessing this page it's because you have been giving given the private link to view this information so pause for I'm gonna pause this video for a moment so that I can open up my document and we can go ahead and get to formatting okay hold on one second I'll be right back okay so you're going to want to open up the document whichever whatever your uh, ebook is located you're gonna to want to open that up first then you're going to want to make sure that you're on the home tab of Microsoft Office. Now, I have to say that this training is done using Microsoft Office 2000, Microsoft Office Word 2007. Um, if you have Microsoft Word 2010, it probably will be similar. There will probably be a little differences in uh, the styles, but everything else should be about the same. But like I said, I'm using Word 2007. So, to format your book for Kindle is very, very easy. And um, so we're going to go, we're going to get right into it. The first thing you need to do is, of course, have your document open. Then you're going to want to go over here to this area where it says change styles. Because up here you're going to notice that you have normal, no spacing, heading, all that. All of this works with the style that you've picked to set your book up in. So over here we're going to go to change styles. Gonna click that and then you're going to go down to this first one where it says style set and there's going to be another box that pops up. You can go through all of these and see which one you like for your book because they all work perfectly for setting up your ebook. I personally like to use simple because it looks very simple on uh, on the Kindle when you're reading the books and even if you're reading them online they, they just look easier to read so you would click whichever style you pick I've chosen simple I'm going to make sure that simple is clicked yes simple is clicked so we go to simple and uh, up here you're going to see you know had I changed that to any other thing you would see that the fonts are different would be different for the style set that you choose okay so once you've chosen that the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down to all of your chapter headings because now we're going to make our table of contents for our book now we delete this stuff here for a second um, what you're going to want to do because our table of contents in our book is going to be clickable meaning if someone is reading from their Kindle book and they want to just touch and skip to chapter 5 I'm going to show you how we can do that here in just a second but first we're going to want to go down we're going to want to make sure that every one of our title chapter headings are uh, named are, are set up as a heading so to do that you will go to each chapter title if, even if it's chapter one, two, three, four, whatever, and you're going to highlight it. So you highlight it. Now mine is automatically changing to heading because, of course, I have the style set there. But just in case yours isn't set up like that, you would go up here. First, you would highlight that. Then you would go up here to where it says heading, and you would click that. It would automatically set it up as a heading. So I'm going to go and I'm going to change all of my. Uh, chapter headings to heading and then I'm going to come back and show you what the next step is okay so I've went in and I've uh, changed all of my titles to all my chapter headings to the heading two headings up in the styles thing and I want to show you too just in case you have a subheading like let's say the title of your book is 
Um, let's say your chapter heading is goals and what to do with them. Well, this is how you would set that up. Like chapter five here is chapter five. And if you notice what is a goal is set up different. If I click there, you will see that jumps to heading two. So your main headings for your chapters would be heading one. Your subheadings would be uh, heading two. Now, another thing that you're going to want to look at in your um, book when you're setting it up is you're going to want to go here to this little uh, toggle right here. You're going to click there. Then you're going to go all the way down, and there are three choices here. I want you to choose Manage Styles. Click there. Now, in this right here, this is where you can go in and change how big your uh, headings are. Like if you want your headings to be a size 16 font or something like that, then you would go in here. And you would click this button that says Modify. Now, up here it has all my headings set up to be Cambria at 11 font. Now I can change that if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. Like I could change that to be license plates. I can change that to be Times New Roman. I can change that to whatever I want it to be, and I could change the set the uh, font size to be whatever I want it to be. And you do that back here. After you do that, you go down here to where it says Format. Click there. Then you're gonna go up to where it says Paragraph. Click there. Then you're going to get this new screen to pop up. Now, this screen is very important because this is where you format your uh, book to look exactly like the books that you read on the Nook. So what you're going to want to do is leave all of this here zero. You're going to go over here to where it says Special. Click there. Then you're going to go down to First Line. Click there. You can leave this at 0 0.5, but I always make mine 0 0.3, just so that it's not so much of a gap in between. Then you're going to go down here to where it says before and after. Now, before you want it to be 0 and after, you want to set that to 0. So you just push the down arrow to 0. Then you go over here to line spacing, and you're going to click uh, where it says multiple. You can change that to single or one and a half lines. I always put my single space and then the rest of it's done so then you click OK then you get back here you click OK again to accept all your changes and you click OK once more to accept all your changes and that and everything will be set up how it should be for your ebook now um, in our book we also want to have a space to put a table of contents that is what is also going to be known as our clickable links so that when someone clicks somewhere in our book, if they want to skip ahead to another chapter, they can do so. And to do that, you would go up here to where it says References, click References, go over to Table of Contents, click Table of Contents, go down to where it says Insert Table of Contents, click there. There's one box on this page that you need to uncheck, and then everything else is set. So what you would do is you would click show page numbers and that's it and then click OK. And you see how all that's there perfectly centered and everything. You don't have to go in and put page 1, 2, 3, 4 because in in Kindle books or any ebook, there's generally not any page numbers if you're going to be reading it on Kindle or anything like that because it's just straightforward reading. So there's no need for page numbers. So it doesn't insert the page numbers. So when someone was, if someone was to click here, then they could skip to that part in the book. Like if I was to, if I was reading this on the computer instead of a nook, then I could just hit control, enter, and it would skip me to chapter one. So that's all that does. And then let's say that somewhere in your book, you want to have um, somebody click a link to a website. So you could, you could put down uh for more information I can't type today for more information click here right what you would do is highlight the part that you want them to click on so you highlight click here for instance and then you would go up to here where it says insert and click there then you would go over to where it says hyperlink and click there now, 
you will type in whatever address you want this to go to. I'm going to say I want it to go to my website when someone clicks, click here. And I will say okay. That would make this link right here a clickable link. And that way when someone wants to go to, uh, when someone clicks there, they would go out to my website and they would be able to get more information. And you would be able to have this right in your notebook or your Kindle book or whatever. So that way if you want to build a relationship with your audience or you want to build a, a email list or whatever with your audience, you'll be able to do so because um, they can click this link right in their right in their Kindle book and it'll go straight out to your website or email list or whatever you may have. But that's pretty much it how to format your ebook in a nutshell. Pretty simple, really easy to do. Um, and once you're done with that, of course you will go up here and click save and it's done. And that's it. So hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any questions, as always, you can contact me at this email address right here. I'm going to type it in. Uh, it's on my presentation screen. If you have any questions about anything, you can always email me at coachsand at gmail.com. And I will always uh, answer emails. I usually respond to emails within the hour if it's through the day. If it's after business hours, which are after 5 o'clock, then generally I respond 5 o'clock Eastern Time. Then generally I respond to all emails within 24 hours. So thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully this was very helpful. I'm Sandra Peoples.